Hey, what is up, YTP squads out there? This is Dana Shekharan here, and welcome back to yet another show. And uh, and this is actually a cherishing video. And uh, the reason this is cherishing is we have just crossed 5,000 subscriber milestone, guys. A very proud moment for us. And as soon as we say the 5,000 subscriber mark, you guys surely will just go for the giveaways. Yes, the giveaways are on their way. I got the product and uh, the video next to this. Will be about the giveaway video. So I had just created uh, the giveaway links. Also, nothing much to be done. More just sit back, relax, and watch the video coming up next. So in this video, let's have an unboxing and overlook of the Apple MacBook Pro 13-inch Retina display without touch bar. So without any further delay, let's dive into the video, guys. And wait. In case if this is your first time visit to this channel, hey guys, I am Dhanush Chakran here, and you are watching me on my YouTube channel, Your Tech Bro. We do all such unboxings, reviews, giveaways, and uh, tutorial Android tutorials. This is a complete one stop for your technical knowledge. So without any further delay, let's dive in and check out the beast, the one lakh beast. Yes, I'm going to be talking about a laptop in this video. This is the 2017 Apple MacBook Pro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. So guys, this is the space gray model that I had bought yesterday. Apple is always prone to its quality design. Either it be an iPhone or an iPad or a MacBook. Here it is completely metal unibody construction all over the body. Even though its body is completely metal, it feels weightless in hand. It weighs nearly around one and a half kgs. Wow, unbelievable! It attracts everyone with its design, even though they are used to it regularly. Well, that is the beauty of Apple. So, guys, before moving on to its unboxing, let's have an overview of the specification of this model. So, this model is a 8 GB RAM one. With a 120 GB of SSD hard disk, a 13.3 inches IPS Retina display, 500 nits of brightness, a 3.6 GHz Intel Core i5 processor, Intel Iris Plus 640 chipset of graphics, a four-touch trackpad. So these are the major specifications of this device. So guys, let's just unbox it. Opening up the box. You get the device itself, the MacBook Pro. Taking it off, oh my God, how slim and sleek this is, and this is very, very, very weightless to hold. Okay, let me just keep it aside. And here we go for some leaflets. Taking it off, it's MacBook Pro. You get some of the user manuals and warranty notes and some stickers also. Let's all keep them aside. We go to the power adapter. Wow, pretty huge this is. And uh, this is a 61 watts USB Type C port power adapter, so that uh, you require a USB Type C port on both sides of the cable. And uh, here is the two-way plug, which is to be attached in the adapter. So be careful, guys, if you miss anything. Apple's gonna crash you. Okay, and uh, yeah, here is the neatly well packed uh, the USB Type C to Type C cable. As you see, Type C on one side and Type C on another side. The length of the cable is pretty decent, not too long, I should say. If you're opting for a long cable, then you really have to just buy one. Moving on to the MacBook itself. Wow, how neatly it is packed, guys! This is really slim and sleek. Uh, it may be looking bulkier in this video, but for sure this is really slim and sleek. You can just even open this in a single hand, as I made it right now. Opening on the lid uh, itself, the device turns on automatically. Wow, guys! Look at this vibrant Retina display. Due to the Retina display in it, it makes no issues. How long you see the display, it really not gonna affect your eyes. 
Apple claims that this is the brightest and the most colorful Mac notebook they have been built ever before. And in case guys, if you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to it and hit the bell icon nearby, which is absolutely free, that mean a lot to us. Apple had banished the older technology keyboard and replaced it with a new butterfly keyboard that is buttery smooth. But there are few cons in this. This is not at all suitable for people who type often as the keypads are very thin. It takes time to get used to it. Moving on to the trackpads. They are no way similar to the ones present in the 2015 MacBook Pro. They go for the force touch technology similar to the ones in the iPhones from 6s series. You can have a force touch, 3D touch, anything on the trackpad. And the size of the trackpad is pretty huge for a 13 inch MacBook Pro itself. Opening the lid with a single hand is always easier in all MacBooks of Apple. This is also the same case here. The 2017 MacBook Pro can also be opened using a single hand. The major differences are seen in the screen size. MacBook Pro has 13 inch screen whereas my previously used HP laptop has 15.6 inch screen. The bezels of MacBook Pro are shrinked whereas the bezels in the HP laptop are really really huge. And guys, if you own a MacBook Pro that had been released in the later part of 2016, you certainly require some adapters to be needed. Because they support only USB Type-C ports. The one which I have has only two USB Type-C ports. So I certainly require this USB Type-C to Type-A adapter and a wireless mouse to be used. As we all know the price of the Apple products. It is always better to invest some money to buy a laptop bag. I bought this bag with all with small compartments to have my accessories all in one place. So that it would be easy for me while traveling. And your laptop becomes useless when you don't have these primary adapters in it. So guys, we have reached the end of this video. If you have any doubts regarding this device or if you want to opt to give your suggestions, please do mention it in the comment sections below. And as usual, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button or if you dislike this video, just go ahead and make sure you subscribe to our channel as we are just connecting a giveaway right now and uh, stand a chance to win it. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Keep updated. Stay tuned.